Right, so when I recorded this yesterday, I wasn't aware that the microphone wasn't working in OBS, so I've had to improvise for most of this video and do a voiceover, so I do apologise in advance if it sounds a bit rough in some places, but I'm not bothered to wait all the way until, like, 8 o'clock to do it. <laughs> I'm here at Faraday Road. It's, um... 8:40 p.m. in the evening and I thought today I should go and show you the least used station on Waterline which is Newry Harbour. It only gets two trains a day and we'll go to get the train there. It's pretty unusual though since it's only a one platform station, one of the few one platform stations across Stepford. I think it might I think it's the only one. But anyway, we're going to go down to the platform and get the train there. I never really go to Faraday Road, but I always help but notice the odd little platform here. It seems a lot more modern than the rest of the Faraday Road area. I think in 2017 they upgraded Faraday Road um, to meet with the new standards of the Waterline Network, which James Street and Cambridge Street Parkway, um, you've got to meet those standards. Uh, but. Yeah, I think our train's going to be arriving in just a bit, so let's go to the platform. Just kidding, we're already there. Be coaches. It's not always the best of news when a 508 turns up, but at least it's a train, um, and at least it's not a 319. So let's get on board and tell you a bit about the history of um, Newry Harbour. The station was constructed in 1894 as many ports north of Benton had gained extreme popularity among cargo and passenger ship companies. The original station comprised of five platforms and had a very frequent service. In rush hour, Newry Harbour was often the fifth busiest station on average as many people commuted to work. In the First and Second World Wars, the station peaked as thousands of ship workers commuted to quickly construct warships for the Navy. It all seemed all good until the beaching cuts removed to Newry Harbour and thus the station was abandoned. And over the next few decades, the building slowly started to deteriorate. Most of the station was demolished in 1994 where the only part of the station left is the old ticket office, which now serves as a big brick block. In 2003, the station reopened as a one-platform station, and since, Newry Harbour has consistently ranked below Morganstown Docks as the least-used waterline station. And here we are today. Welcome on board this waterline service to Newry Harbour. The next station is Newry Harbour. Here we are at Newry Harbour, the least used waterline station. Street Parkway, Ashland Park, and Connolly. This train has three coaches. So, now that we're here at Newry Harbour, I thought I'd just decide to give you a little tour. So outside here, you have the station sign with the new network rail logo and the waterline logo so it is frequently updated which is kind of odd it also serves as a nice little photo spot for the station and um, once you walk in you see over here the big brick block that used to be the old ticket office when the station was far larger it's still there to this day as it's like a grade one thing here's the old like the current newspaper rack it's never in use um, but yeah, over here you have tickets, so um, yeah, these are way better, um, these current new ticket machines, as they're better than just going onto the train and asking the conductor for a, a ticket or something like that, far more efficient for Newry Harbour's services, 
Once you walk down here, you've got the main platform and an information board with adverts, timetables, extra information about the station, stuff like that. I find it very cool to have something like that here, especially at the least used water line station. Once you get onto the platform, you'll see it's actually got four benches, um, which is quite unusual to say the least for a station that only gets 40 or so passengers a year. Um, but yeah, over here you have the new rehabber dot matrix board, quite unusual. And as well as that, a reduced mobility access ramp for if you are using a wheelchair and you need to get onto the train. Except I'm pretty sure nobody has ever used that. I guess it's the least used mobility ramp on the station. The platform itself is also quite long and it's well lit up, which is, yeah, quite cool. So now that we're here at Newry Harbour Station, I think I should show you some of the statistics and show you how little usage this station currently gets. So without further ado, let's look at the statistics. Now the station, as the title of the video suggests, only gets around 40 or so passages a year. The official number is 46 in the 2019 to 2020 statistics. Um, the current statistics are way lower now going just to 24 during the 2021 season thing, which is quite unusual. Um, obviously the pandemic has hit this station really hard, especially since the port was closed for most of the year. It's fallen way behind the other stations which I'll get onto in a second. Now, as you just heard, in the 2020-21 season, so the most recent season, the station only got 24 concurrent, not concurrent, but, you know, passengers, which is way less than Morganstown Docks' um, 2,146 passengers. Obviously, the pandemic has impacted the railway network so much that on a regular year, the station would get around 45 passengers, compared to Morganstown Docks' 3,100 or so passengers. So it's way behind on the um, waterline network, but how does it compare to the rest of the county railway? Well, Morganstown Docks, um, the station that we mentioned just yet, is on the least used stations list um, compared to the rest of Stepford but it's way not compared to um, some of the connect stations. Newry Harbour, however, is the um, least used waterline station, as you already know, but the second least used station in all of Stepford. Falling behind the station that you'll all probably know, but I'll keep it a surprise for those who don't know, um, which you'll see how low the passenger numbers were there. But yeah, since the port closed, the passenger statistics have just dropped to below 50 on many years, with this year being the least ever seen on a waterline station. So yeah. Anyway, so I guess that's it for today's video. I've got to walk back all the way to Newry now, which won't be fun. But anyway, if you did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, we'll see um, what the least used station overall in Stepford is. But yeah, I'm Vex, and I will see you in the next video. Like and subscribe, whatever. And uh, yeah, goodbye.